all the classic. I want to watch more, but I'm so excited that we get to talk to one of the stars now. Zach Bravo is with us before he heads down to Tampa Bay as Katz is coming back to the Straz. Good morning, Zach. How are you? Morning, Natalie. I'm great. How are you? I am well. Okay, by the way, not a stage name. We do need to set the record straight. No, no, no. It, it is my birth given name, I promise you. <laughs> I feel like you knew you had to be on the stage. You had to have been a performer even as a baby when you were given a name like Bravo. Uh, well, you know, I, I mean, it's it's a fa it's a family last name. And, you know, I, I I never really was into like no one in my family was ever into the arts. Like yeah. I kind of started it um, by just watching like way too much television at first. <laughs> and then um, by the time, uh, you know, I, I, I was growing up with my uh, my little cousin and uh, she went to dance class a lot. So there was just one day that I just kind of went with her and started taking dance classes and fell in love with that. And. The rest is kind of history. <laughs> oh, I love I love getting the backstory, you know, of the people we get to know. And now you are playing one of the most, you know, infamous characters of our time. Yeah. Of course, <laughs> playing Rum Tum Tugger. You know, when you get a role like this, and, and I've even heard the simulation and read that Andrew actually modeled this character after Mick Jagger, which I didn't realize oh, until yeah. getting ready to uh, to talk with you here. How much fun you having, Zach? Um is there is there an, a way of saying of like like having way too much fun because <laughs> anytime that i'm out there as tugger oh there i am uh um anytime that i'm out there as tugger um it's just such a blast uh, because i i get to um just put myself out there and not i mean not only do that but interact with all the other kittens and like kind of discover like um, which which of the cats like me, which of the ki uh, cats don't, uh, who do I vibe with? Um, so it's always it's always so special every night because it's always something new, especially whenever we get into a different venue uh, and, and the space that we have. Well, speaking of new and talking about the different spaces, I know there are certain elements to this production that is new. And so I want to make sure and point that out. There's, of course, some of the favorites, like the choreography and things. Mm -hmm. You've already touched on dance a little bit, but yeah. then some nuances. So talk about this cat show overall and what people can expect. Yeah, so so in this tour, we are doing the the 2016 revival. Um, so that was when uh, Andy Blankenbuehler uh, choreographed the show, but with but still uh, gave honor to uh, Jillian Lynn's choreography uh, way back when, 40 years ago. Um, so. So it's very nostalgic, but it has it has like a, a bunch of new elements of like uh, uh, a a a broader way of uh, a broader way of telling the story um, to uh, to just to just share what we are. And it's not just like us coming out and, and just dancing and all that stuff. Like we have a story to tell. We are a tribe. We are coming together as as a unit and and celebrating. Um, it's just like any other family reunion, really. It's just like we're coming together. We're we're sharing our stories. We're telling each other who we are um, and and i feel like that i i don't feel that there that's the only uh or i'm sorry i don't feel that's the the like the big difference with the show um but but it still it still has the the <laughs> the the nature of of cats well okay and branching off of what you just said there i'm curious what is more fulfilling or more rewarding for you is it someone who has seen cats many many times for many years and is truly a, a cats aficionado if you will and yeah. they compliment you or someone who's very new and has never experienced cats before and they compliment you or are they both kind of rewarding for your role i, I think it's i think it's all uh very rewarding really uh it's it's I don't know. Like, I mean, we, this story has been told for 40 years. Right. And nothing that has never changed. Um, sure. There have been like different, uh, diff uh, differences with like choreography and storytelling, but it's still cats. Um, so, uh, whether someone has seen it like way back when or or it's their first time seeing it they're still getting the the same experience as the same way that you would listen to the soundtrack oh, i love that and then again get to play in such a fun role i'm so glad we got to talk with you yeah. and down south soon december 7th through the 12th of course you can get your tickets at the Straz website or by giving them a call zach bravo pleasure to talk with you bravo today my friends thank you thank you so much we'll see you down there